Yeah, I'm in Gotham City in a Batmobile. Even though it get crazy, niggas don't talk like Swayze. What up? This is Swayze, and hold on, hold on, hold on, real quick. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing great. I'm smoking on a new strain. And we calling this one the Susan Pack. Oh, you don't know what I'm talking about? Yeah. La Familia done up the score. Check the scoreboards. New op pack in the air. Look at your screen. Look at your screen. We are one step closer to getting the silver play button. New Susan Pack in the air. This is gas or what? Would have still been a CEO if y'all ain't gas her up. Yes, guys. Susan Wajaka Wajaski. Susan, however you pronounce that name, just stepped down from CEO of YouTube. And let me just say this right now. Whoever is going to be the new CEO of YouTube. Listen, I'm a good guy. All I do is eat bacon, egg, and cheeses and sniff my girl's panties from time to time. So all I'm saying is, give La Familia a chance. And YTK stands for YouTube King. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. But before we get into the video, let me introduce you people to my new and reoccurring best friends. Now, first up, you already know, is Melissa. Melissa Thomas. What's up, girl? How's everything? You good? I hope the family is well. I hope you are healthy and that skin is glowing and you are just living your best life. And just know, if nobody says that they appreciate you, Melissa, just know Swayze said he does. I appreciate you. Next up is my brother from another mother. You already know, Alex. And he says, even though I'm in Miami to get away from the Coco felons, I'm not going to lie. I want to get near Sugar Hill D-Dot's mom. And oh, yeah, I'm still away from Big D-O-A. Hey. Wow. My boy Alex is over there in South Beach with the top down thinking about Sugar Hill D-Dot's mom. I don't condone anything that man says. Next up is Punch Guard, and he says, get you a bath for your back. Thanks, my guy. Next up is Zimba, and he didn't say anything. He's just making sure your boy gets his back in the morning. And last but not least is Must Die Rich, and he says, love from PG, Maryland. YTK, God bless. Thanks, my guy. I appreciate you. And I appreciate all of you people who donate and contribute to the Bacon, Egg, and Cheese Fund. And if you, too, want to become one of Swayze's new best friends, just hit the Cash App. It's honestly that simple. I'm from Brooklyn for real. You can buy my friendship. But let's get into the story because, honestly, there's a lot going on. Now, if you're not sleeping under a rock or you just don't follow Swayze, you should know that Cal Richardson, Fun Size Tata, and Jen Wap found themselves in a little kerfuffle, to say the least. And it was all caught on camera, in 4K, as they say. Now, I'm going to tell it to y'all just like this, and I'm going to set the tone early. I'm not showing the video. No. No. If you want to see it, go to the Instagram. It's that simple. But what I will do is describe it to you. Now, this is what first happened, right? You got Sheik, you got Cal Richardson, and you got Tata attacking this man like a bunch of rabbit hyenas on a lion. It was like three against one, or four against one, or 41. Oh, 4 1. Makes sense now. But they're scuffling, right? Scuffling, 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 scuffling. The next thing you know, who I believe to be Cal Henry Richardson, fell to the floor. That's when I turned the video off. Not my cow. Not the Prince of Brooklyn. But after that went down, the guy that they allegedly hopped went to his Instagram stories and made a video. And this is what he said. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yo, Carol, come get your fuck. Y'all know who shit this is. This fake ass chain, nigga. Fake ass bracelet. But, what my dad? Touch my man's again. Who shit? Who's fake ass chain? Who's fake ass bracelet is this? Fake ass fucking. Who want this shit? Fucking bum ass nigga. I need this butt. Four niggas by my dolly. Y'all four one niggas. Four one. Forty one niggas get shot. Forty one niggas die. Forty one. Wait to fucking get killed, nigga. Fuck my dick. Punch him in by his dolly, nigga. Huh? By his dolly. What am I like? I really like that. Ain't no mirrors. What are you talking about, nigga? I'm really like that, bro. Really deaf, nigga. Really deaf. Like, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Damn. Yo, I'm about to act out. Like, hold on. Come get your fucking shit back. It's fake ass shit. Riveting. 
very intriguing and riveting footage. Now after this video started to go viral on the internet, people started to put one and two together and noticed that the bracelet was indeed from G.O.D. And that's when I started to do some research. And this is what I found. Now, according to this guy, the bracelet that he found while he was fighting for one runs you about $289. Still a little too steep for my broke ass, but I'm sure that we have some rich niggas out there in the comment section that's ready to drop that bag on this. Now, after this was exposed, you had the people saying, yo, wow. Then people over by 4-1 is wearing fake chains and fake jewelry and this, then, and third. And I'm going to just sit here and say this. I'm not one to sit here and talk about jewelry, all right? I know my lane and I stay in it. I got a chain, but it's so thin that people think it's a necklace. So believe me, I should be the last one talking. But I will say this. If Cal Rich or whoever was wearing that bracelet from G.O.D. spent $289 on it, I think that's a win in my book. Imagine if he spent $2,289 on it. He would have been tight right now he lost that. But after that, it looks like little Tata posted and deleted this on his Instagram. Oh. No. What did they do to fun size Tata? They got him with a whole ventilator on and everything. <laughs> they they beat COVID into him. What's going on right now? But all jokes aside, I don't think that's, you know, because of the fight. He probably got asthma or something like that. But what I do want to know is, what, what's with the rake dropping? Why is, he, why is he dropping the rakes? I know for a fact 22 G's rake dropping spider senses is tingling right now. Like, bruh, I totally understand why 22G's the general totally gets pissed off about this. My man's got some type of breathing apparatus on, and in an attempt to not look totally vulnerable, he drops the rakes. I, mean, I don't know what's going on. All of you rappers gotta understand and think about it. Yo, Susan is no longer the CEO of YouTube. Swayze just might get his silver play button. I know that has nothing to do with what you guys got going on. Bro, it's Black History Month. Rosa Parks didn't sit in the back of the bus for this. Harriet Tubman didn't create the MTA train station for this. All right? You people need to get it together. Stop the beth. Stop the kerfuffles. You know what? I'm kerfuffle K. For now on, I'm kerfuffle K. But pull up in the comment section and let me know how you feel about this situation. And if you like the video, don't forget to share, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And make sure you hit that notification button. But I'm off this. Boom.